I spoke to some friends of mine about exactly what it takes for fashion designers to really push themselves. They gave me some really good ideas and I came here to share it with you. I'm Leah Marvel and I'm an attorney and entrepreneur with a background in fashion. I started as a model, I developed into a television host and I have several small businesses. My name is James Hackett, I am a fashion designer Hi, I am Lisa and I'm a hustler. I don't know what to label myself because yeah, I do the blogging, a whole bunch of other stuff, so I make clothes and do a market. I'm a creative hustler. Yes, that's what I am. I will use every medium because every medium is important. So from traditional media to social media, newspaper, articles, when something is done, it's very easy to write an article and give it to an editor of a newspaper and see if they publish it. Then there are things like magazines as well, magazine interviews, uh, photo shoots, there are radio interviews as well. That's more difficult to, to do. Social media I think is a great equalizer. A lot of the people that I was able to meet um, happen through social media. Depending on, on who you are, there are little pockets within the World Wide Web where you will find people of your kind. So for models, there's like supermodels.com. And so you will try to make your presence known there. Um, it's hard to say specifically how often an artist or fashion designer or anybody should post. I think you should feel it too. It should come from within um, so that what you post is of you and it's not forced and it's not irrelevant. I try to, to keep super active on all social media platforms. Sometimes I post like, you know, maybe three to six times a day. However, the presence should be consistent. From my experience, the Caribbean is, it's really no different. It's generally how big your vision is. Because I treat everything the same. The same way I would market an artist here is the same way I'd market internationally. However, because we're a small region, it's, it's a little more difficult. There's some form of nepotism if you don't like to talk about. But there are a way of doing things. Just be creative. Just be yourself. If, if it is that you have talent, then your talent will shine. So you have a lot of people enthusiastically putting on their work online. And while that is happening, you have somebody trying to steal your work. There could be a point where it becomes too much, too much promotion and, and then people get tired of seeing you and then when they see something from you, they don't pay attention. There are a lot of paranoid people in the fashion industry and in the creative industry. They are unwilling to share resources. It's not a given thing. And if you look at the successful areas, it's because they share information, they share resources. I feel as though people don't understand the need for one another. What really makes you successful is how committed you are to your idea. And I do think a lot of people in the fashion industry realize that. I would definitely like to see um, the industry develop into a true industry so that you know we don't have to depend on government help. I think I would like to see us have something that resembles more of a fashion center, a tighter community where people are actually mentoring and, and, and working with each other instead of trying to just rape talent from the, the younger ones that's coming out. You know, I would eventually I would like to see the Caribbean as a fashion destination, just like there is Paris Fashion Week, which is on the calendar of fashion weeks in the fashion world to go to. You have to, you have to kind of just, just be strong in your conviction. Pay respect to, to, to the criticism and accept it, own up to it, but also be strong in terms of your vision because nobody else can tell you what your vision is. You need to know who you are. You need to develop your brand. And once you do that, whatever you sell to people, people will buy. You know who you are, maintain that. And it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but it is going to happen. <laughs> I think it takes a lot of dedication and interest um, because you need to really devote time and set aside time to actually get it done.
welcome. Like, follow and subscribe. And don't forget to check the description box for anyone who worked on this project with me that you might want to link up with later. I can't wait to share my next video with you where I went to Kingston Bridal Week and guess who I saw?